Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to take you a walk around Discourse, the platform, the forum platform software and what I've used it for, why I saw it um, as a great platform to use and a bit of pricing, a bit of back-end admin. This is not an expert's video. This is not, you know, I don't claim to, to know everything ins and outs of Discourse, but I hope within this video you'll be able to see what you can use Discourse for if it's worth it for you and if not I just want to give you a, a you know a beginner's introduction demo and as I say I'm not an expert though so um, don't jump all over me if I jump over it around a little bit so firstly why did I come to discourse I'm on I'm on the um, Seth Godin marketing um, training course the marketing seminar and his back end attached to that is he, he runs a teachable website where he shares the lessons and then he has a discourse forum which is the forum now you do have to log into both when you're doing it but i've come to use it and it's a really cool and obviously it's got a great social proof by someone like seth Godin using it so i don't want to jump in too much but they basically post a, a video lesson and create a category for that lesson and then we can all go in and discuss the topic relating to our business so it'll be a this is a video of something marketing wise today now go on talk about your business in your own topic so I would go and create a new topic just pops up at the bottom and I would fill out the answer so then you can see all the people that are talking about it all the users that have talked all the number of replies the people that have uh, viewed it and you can go in and you'll get notifications when someone's replied to something you've said, when someone's um, tagged you in a comment, when someone's um, suggested something to you, invited you to a topic. And there's a lot of gam gamification to it. So you'll see, maybe not so much on that one, but if I go to mine, Earned Enthusiast. This badge is granted for visiting 10 consecutive days. Earned First Emoji. This badge, badge is granted for first time you add an emoji to your post. So there's a lot of cool um, gamification to it. And that's why I started using it was because Seth Golden gave it the, um, the golden go ahead by using it himself. So when you come to Discourse itself, it says it's free. And it is if you take their open source code and put it on your server and install it. And you know what you're doing to be able to do that on a server. I didn't know and I didn't have time to do it. So what I did was went for the paid hosting, which is a hundred bucks a month. Um, so they basically host the forum, set it all up for you and you pay a hundred dollars a month. It then, if you wanted an SSL, I wanted the green HTTPS. So it became actually $120 a month. So I let them set it up and I'll just have, I'll show you now a walk around what happens uh, and the things that you can do so you can you can style the home page you can put um, adverts above and below obviously you can reply to a, a question I'll get an email saying this person's um, asked a question and you can reply I can flag it I can invite people you know so I can go at test or at Paul there isn't any um, I don't know any test a uh, guest it isn't a guest so I could tag a guest to that uh, so there's all sorts of things I can do I can go up here and uh, archive the topic say it's closed close the topic set a topic timer to set to say that this is only gonna be alive for two days or something pin the topic take it offline and mark it as a private message so that person sent me a private message um, but really cool and in fact that actually hasn't got a category so select post oh no yeah I just go here and I click this is a teachable so I'm gonna move it to the teachable discussion he's asked about teachable in fact he's asked about YouTube so it's whether I want to put it in the YouTube category or do I want to put it in the teachable category it's pretty much both but I can only put it in one category so 
I've changed it, moved him around, so now he's in the YouTube question section. I can go up the top here, latest post, new post, anything that I've not seen, I can go unread. Top post, uh, my post, and anything I've bookmarked. So I think you're getting that the, the back end of it, uh, sorry, the front end is so easy to use. I can make this where um, there's categories here and then the latest posts over here. I can change the settings. But if I go and I'll come in as a guest. So maybe if I go sign up, I just need to put test at paulnicholson.com. Username test. Name is test. Oh. Name is test, password test, one, two, three, four, five, six. It needs to be eight letters or something, or 10 letters, it says there. Create new account. I'm gonna get a, a beep. Come on, beep. There's a beep. Uh, so here's the, the link that I need to activate my account. I'm going to paste it in there. You, you would just click on it, wouldn't you? Click here to activate your account. Continue to Paul Nicholson's online forum. And then it's going to walk me through what to do, where I can, you know, a bit of information. And I can now go in and click on project, you know, I can click and see YouTube videos or something that's shared. I can reply to it. That's great. Thanks for sharing. Smiley face. If I, if I close this, you can see here, this is what it's gonna look like. Uh, we have received your post. Oh, I have to moderate that person on their first post. And up here is gonna give me notifications. So if I now go back to the admin, one needs approval. So I approve that post. Now if I go to latest, uh, you're gonna see that that reply bumps this post back up to latest. Um, you know, I can like that post. So I'm giving you a real overview of what it's about. I'm not giving you a how-to video here. So you might, you know, don't put in the comments that I'm being scattered, I'm all over the place. I'm trying to give you a, a really fast, um, overview of of how this all works so look you get a badge saying the badge is granted you received your first like on a post congratulations uh earned your first emoji badge so there's all sorts of gamification for um for getting people to engage in your forum to get people involved in your forum um and it's really easy to share sort of stuff like this. You create a new topic. And if I were just to go to YouTube. And grab a. Uh, yeah, let's grab this. Right. I just grabbed that URL. New topic. How to. In fact, I just share the, the URL. And it will pick it up and give me the title. I might put in here. Great video worth watching that was on slack so i don't know if i've got a category on start slack maybe on video marketing happy me business i'll just put in happy me business for now but as a uh, as the admin i can change it i can put a new category i can save it if I get if i come in as the test person now when i go up here and go latest in fact it says new one there look Paul Nicholson, YouTube video. I can click here and like it. I can reply. That's great. Do you use Slack? Something like that, whatever that question is. So, I, you know, I think you know how to use a forum, but I think a forum that works well uh, and is easy to use is is beneficial to everybody, isn't it? You can see how easy it is to log in, how easy it is to get access. 
how easy it is to post a topic and then me change the um, change the category. And you see this one here, there's a padlock here. This is just for people marked as staff, so it's a private one. So that, that staff one isn't showing on the on the main on the um, the guest login but you can have one just for your staff members private groups so if I look at the back end of things and go to admin I can see the stats on how many views how many views in the last seven days how many has the web been crawled by the robots to make sure it's getting um, uh, Google rankings and you know Google's gonna start finding it how many people, I'm not going to click too much because there's people's private data in there. Top referral topics, uh, clicks, top referral sources, YouTube, uh, top referrers, settings. And this is where, this is interesting. I haven't gone into a lot of a lot of the settings, but obviously you put your Google Analytics code in. You can change some categories. You can change, you've got pretty much access to everything back there. Uh, users, groups posting you set all the rules emails I want to tick I'm not going to click on everything again this is not a how to use discourse this is what you get with discourse uh, you get plugins for th certain other things um, if you want to put Amazon affiliate links above and below content you can put your Amazon codes in there and put certain um, when someone shares a uh, an Amazon uh, product it will be tagged as your affiliate link so you'll get paid for it you can put adverts above and below there's some users I don't want to click on you can set the badges and what they mean first one box posted a link that was one boxed first share you shared a post this badge is granted for sharing so this is what they say um, any groups that you've got emails that you want to set up I mean, it goes on and on and on. It is so in-depth and it is so easy to use. And if you ever have a problem, you just message from within here. In fact, here, look, you just message, send a message to Discourse. You just, you basically message Discourse from within your box saying, hey, I've got a problem. Uh, can you fix this? And they reply to you straight away or as soon as they can. Uh, and it's, I know this is a hundred mile an hour bounce around but it's a really cool really easy to use forum now that being said i am about to close this because it's 120 dollars a month and you can see i've got maybe in the last i don't know maybe three weeks that i've opened it i've maybe got 10 10 people signed up because i don't have the community to justify the money i would love to have this as an open um discourse community forum but at 120 dollars a month i'm finding it hard to justify what i don't want to do is put adverts all over this so you know i want it to be here's a video that's going to help you i don't want it to be a google advert here and a google advert there and a and a click here and that sort of stuff so i'm, I'm i'd rather have no forum than a forum full of adverts and i might be stupid for saying that but i, I at this time I can't justify it being $120 for this and then $40 for my Teachable website and $50 for an active campaign account and $100 for something else and $12 for this and $14. You've got to be careful when you're starting your own business or starting up online that you're not just constantly paying things that are extra. This is $10. That's $20. And, you know, they all add up. So I'm going to delete my forum, but I really like it. And I wish it was cheaper. I wish it was 30 or 40 bucks a month and then uh, paid extras or something. But this is an all in, all the bells and whistles, everything you need um, platform for engaging in pe pe with people, taking them away from Facebook. So everybody's into Facebook groups and I kind of, I have a love-hate relationship with Facebook. I don't, you know... I don't want to have to be on Facebook to talk to people that I'm doing business with. I want to be, I would rather be in my own platform, in my own space. But Facebook's free, apart from the adverts that they're going to put on, versus my my forum, uh, which is $120 a month. 
So I think it's worth it, but I'm not going to use it because at this time I don't have enough people to drive to it, to talk to, to, to get the engagement. So for me, unfortunately, as much as I love, I love the layout. I love how it looks on phone, on the phone. I love how easy it is to add a, you know, this this cat this category's got a happy me business uh, image attached. You know, again, it's a YouTube thing. That's what this is. One we just post isn't it? Um, you can share it. You can see recent comments here. Uh, that does cure your hay fever, by the way. So it's like, I know this was a jump around. I know that I'm hoping you'll get that you have access. You you take control of your forum. You uh, can put adverts on, change security, put spam ratings. They give you everything. I mean, there's more settings here than, here's your AdSense look. Put your AdSense leaderboard above publisher code and, and all that. And it, and it puts in all the sizes of, of whatever you want. If you want it to be above or below, above post, you decide the size, you want it to be above post and it puts it, that advert in for you. And you know, it's cool. It's, it's a really cool discourse. I can't say enough how great the support was. Um, I just can't afford it at this time. I can't justify it. I'd love to be able to communicate with people via discourse and take the um, take the engagement deeper but I simply can't at this time so I hope that was a, a, a I know it was a whirlwind I know it was one of my usual crazy fly around discourse videos but I kind of hope you get in that it's really easy look create new category give it a color add a new topic just pops up here give it a category just write in, paste in, do whatever you want to do, edit it, upload images. Um, really easy to use. I hope it helps. I hope it makes you delve deeper into researching whether to use Discourse or not. If you can justify the money and you uh, have the, the people to engage with, I 100% uh, recommend it. So, oh, you have a good day. Thanks for watching. Cheers.